Today is the start of Wisconsin Salt Awareness Week. While we are all familiar with the importance of salt in Wisconsin winters to clear our roads and driveways, but what we use has a negative impact on the environment. The Northeast Wisconsin Stormwater Consortium says just a teaspoon of road salt permanently pollutes five gallons of water. That really helps kind of put it in perspective. So we are joined with Alyssa Ranke of the Fox Wolf Watershed Alliance to talk about Salt Awareness Week. Talk to me a little bit about the Alliance. What do you guys do? So Fox Wolf Watershed Alliance is based in the Fox Wolf Watershed, the general area, especially when we're talking about the Fox Cities. Sure. Um, and we have a lot of different things going on. So I specifically do stormwater management and mitigation, but we have people doing agriculture specific stuff, aquatic invasive species stuff, um, trash free water. So really anything surface water related, we have our hands in. So explain what Salt Awareness Week is all about. So Salt Awareness Week is, uh, the purpose of it is to educate the public on the impacts of salt, um, tell them what they can do and kind of remind them and show them what their communities are already doing to help reduce the amount of salt used. Sure. So, I mean, yes, with every storm, we're like, okay, when are the trucks going to get out and salt? Are they going to salt? And I've talked to plenty of public works departments talking about, well, if there's rain, we're not going to salt because we know that it'll just run right off into our rivers and lakes and pollute it. Um, and then there's also, you know, it only works at a certain temperature. So they're cognitive of it on their end, but there's, it still gets in the water. There's still a negative impact, correct? Yes. Yep. So what are you seeing here locally? Uh, well, from the munici municipality standpoint, uh, so especially recently, we've seen a lot of municipalities reduce their salt usage by at least 50% or more sure. while still maintaining safe road conditions. The big thing is, and th that's part of what Salt Awareness Week is, is yeah. uh, teaching the public and the municipalities about behavioral changes. We recognize that we live in a semi-cold climate right. or a very cold climate <laughs> depending on the week. Uh, and just want to remind people that like you can't always just go out like you want. Sometimes you have to be mindful and recognize it's super cold. The salt's not going to work. Right. I'm just going to have to be patient. Right, exactly. And we promote that every time, you know, be patient when you're out on the roads. But why does this matter? I mean, you know, this sounds like a no brainer question, yeah. but the salt in the water. Tell me why it's so important to keep it out of there. So salt in the water specifically, it's a permanent pollutant. So when we're talking about a permanent pollutant, it means we can't get it out. You know, if you get right. soil or sediment in uh, like water bodies, rivers, they can dredge that at least. We can't dredge out salt. No. So <laughs> once it's in there, it's in there. Uh, and that's really bad for aquatic plants and animals. Just like humans who have too much salt, aquatic plants and animals get really sick too with uh, too much salt. So that can mean destruction, full destruction of environments and, and fish kills, kill off. And you mentioned about how it's impacting not only the aquatic life, but we know that the roads, we see potholes that come from it, buildings yes. you kind of mentioned a little bit, and even the underbody of your car too. We've all seen what salt can do. Salt's really detrimental to buildings and cement and vehicles. Uh, research says that every dollar spent on salt is $10 in damages to our structural and like vehicles and stuff. Right, so necessary, but there are ways that we can limit and prevent it as much getting into our waterways. And so, you know, we talked about DPW, what they can do. Um, what can you and I do? So when I have to salt my patio or the back deck for my dogs or something like that, it applies to me as well. Yeah, so a uh, thing that the general public can do is uh, shovel often. If you get that snow off of the, the cement or your back porch or whatever in a timely fashion, ice is not gonna form or it prevents ice from forming. Um, you can make sure that you're using salt appropriately. And I know that sounds kind of weird, but we're talking about spreading it out so the granules aren't touching. If you look at the salt for sidewalk salt, it tells you exactly how to distribute it. it you were kicking off the week. The yes. Awareness Week starts today. Yes. So what do you have planned throughout the week where people can get involved or learn more about it and really put this on our radar? Because we know that winter is likely here for a, a few more months. Yes. Yeah, so uh, Wisconsin SaltWise, who is partnering with a lot of the consortiums around the state, has daily live streams and events to educate people on different topics. They have some fantastic speakers coming in. Uh, but also, if you go to any of the social medias for like Fox Wolf Watershed Alliance or Wisconsin SaltWise, you're going to see a lot of really cool educational posts about just little reminders. Absolutely. Always a good reminder. And you have been part of this organization for a while now. Why do you keep doing what you do? 
I've always had a passion for educating the public and working with the environment. And I think working for a nonprofit like this, it gives me that opportunity to still stay close to home mm -hmm. while seeing the impacts in your community. When you're looking at some like global measures, that's really difficult to see the impacts. Yeah, but the when you're working on a scale of this size, you can go and talk to Joe from down the street and really see that, hey, he's changing what he's doing and that's helping our local environment and water bodies. Absolutely, you see the change here locally. Yes. Awesome, Alyssa, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. We appreciate your time.